Hello, what is up everybody? Hope y'all are having a good day. In this video, I will be ranking quarterbacks from tiermaker.com. So these are all the quarterbacks. And these are the tiers. We have insane, solid, starter, or deserves to be a starter, good, average, below average, or trash, or hasn't gotten many ch chances to prove themselves, or they're a rookie. Because all the rookies in this list will be going in the bottom tier because I have not seen them play in the NFL. And although they may have been great in the NCAA, I'm not sure how good they'll do in the NFL. So let's get right into it. With our first quarterback being Josh, Al Josh Allen. And I'm going to put Josh Allen in starter. And yeah, starter is higher than good. So, starter, I think that Josh Allen, he did have a great season. And I think there is definitely room to improve. And I think that he, if he didn't already have a great season, he'll have an even better season. So, next we have Tom Brady. I'll put him in starter. There should be a starter. So, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of Tom Brady, but he always wowed me every season. With what I have for him, and you could make case that he deserves to be in solid, but I'll keep him in starter or deserves to be a starter right now. Drew Brees, I'm gonna put him in solid. Um, so right now I do think that Drew Brees is one of the better QBs in the league still, despite his age, and I think that he will be playing like this for the a couple of years still, and he that guy can throw a football and he can throw a football into receivers' hands. Or, in his case, running backs as well, because he has Alvin Kamara, who's a receiving and rushing running back. Next, we have Teddy Bridgewater. And, Teddy Bridgewater, I'm going to put him in good. Because, when Drew Brees was injured, we saw what Teddy Bridgewater could do. And, he and Michael Thomas were a dynamic duo. And, Teddy Bridgewater, he got a huge contract on the Panthers, as I've already said in many of my other videos. Three years, $63 million deal. And hopefully he can put that contract to good use and make the Panthers happy that they gave him that contract. Jacoby Brissett. I'm going to put him in good as well. So, I know that this may be a bit surprising, but Jacoby Brissett, although Phillip Rivers is the starter of their team, I don't think that they should have gone Phillip Rivers. I think that the Colts should have stuck with Jacoby Brissett. Because Jacoby Brissett came in for Andrew Luck. And he did amazing. Like, no one thought, well, maybe someone would have, but I am, I am, I did not think that he would have done anywhere near how good he did. So I'm going to put him in good for now. Joe Burrow, he's going to put him, I'm going to put him there because he's a rookie. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, I'll put him, I'll put him in the middle of Tom Brady and Josh Allen. Because... I'm, I've am i never been the biggest fan of Kirk Cousins, and he's great during the regular season, don't get me wrong. But then, when it comes to these big games, I guess all the pressure gets onto him, and he just doesn't play well, and that's my only problem with him. Great, he seems like a good player, but like, it's just he needs to show up in big games. Like Josh Allen, if the Bills didn't, the Bills, don't get me wrong, they're a great team, but they didn't exactly play too well in the playoffs last season, and Josh Allen was the only reason they even got to where they did in the playoff game. Next, we have Dak Prescott, and I'm gonna put Dak. I'll put him. In, I'll put him as one of the starters. Such as this to be a starter. Dak Prescott. He got a huge contract, thirty-one point four million dollar contract, and Dak Prescott. I don't necessarily love Dak Prescott, but I will say he's never really had a bad year, and he has been the Cowboys starting QB for a decent amount of time now, and he hasn't really gone injured ever, so not Prescott, right there. Um, sorry, that was the door. So, Andy Dalton. Where should I put Andy Dalton? This is hard. I guess I'll put, I guess... Oh, and by the way, for all these QBs, I'm putting them at where they are at right now. So Andy Dalton will go in average. He got traded to the Cowboys. I'm not sure if he'll do too much there. And on the Bengals, he was 
wasn't the worst QB ever. He wasn't the greatest ever, but he did get them. They were they didn't necessarily do great in the playoffs. One of those playoff games being all because of Vontez Perfect. But Andy Dalton seems like he's average. I'll give him that. Sam Donald. I'm going to put him in below average. Sam Donald, he got mono at, what is he, 24? Uh, you can correct me down in the comments if that was wrong. Um, I think, I don't think it was 24. Sorry. Uh, I'm not sure how old he is, but he got mono and... Sam Darnold didn't have the right season. He had Robbie Anderson, and then Le'Veon Bell didn't do too much either. So, like, Robbie Anderson was his main target. Um, I guess Sam Darnold, I'll put him in, I'll keep him in below average. Ryan Fitzpatrick, I'm gonna have to put him in average. Like, he, Ryan Fitzpatrick is, like, the king of getting paid a bunch and not doing too much that's all I'll say and he hasn't been he's never been insane um well no nah, yeah i wouldn't ever say he's been insane joe flacco mm, i'll put him above ryan fitzpatrick in the average list joe flacco i mean drew Locke is currently a starter of the broncos he has a lot of potential i will say that um, Joe Flacco, man, he was a great QB on the Ravens, but, um, ever since that injury from Kiko Alonso, man, I feel bad for Joe Flacco, like, he doesn't deserve what happened to him, and he kind of fell off a cliff ever since then. Dwayne Haskins, I'm going to put him in below average. Actually, I'll give him higher than Sam Darnold in the blog. Dwayne Haskins. That guy, I will say, he has a lot of potential and he has a huge arm. But, like, remember that game where he literally missed a play because he was taking a picture with one of the fans? Yeah, he's passionate about his fans. But, like, sometimes you got to be a bit more passionate about the game and pay attention. So... I wouldn't say that's the only reason he's there. He wasn't amazing, but maybe he'll get higher. Um, Justin Herbert, I'll put him in the rookie. Derek Carr. Derek Carr. I will give you a... I'll give you a good... Because... Okay, look. Derek Carr. He did have that one breakout season. And he's never necessarily been terrible, right? Um, maybe I'll put him above Jacoby Brissett for now. Because, like, Derek Carr didn't really do too much. And they did get Marcus Mariota, um, who who we will be talking about later. But Derek Carr hasn't really done too much, I'd say. I mean, okay, let me take that back. I take that back. He's done a lot, right? But, like, he hasn't ever... Well, he actually has been amazing in his one breakout season. But that's basically all he's the best he's ever done. And don't get me wrong, he did terrible. Um, but I guess I'll just keep him in the good. Moving on to Taysom Hill. I'm gonna have to put Taysom Hill in the below average. He doesn't really ever play as a quarterback, more of a tight end. So like, I'll put him in the haven't gone many chances to prove themselves. I'll put him right at the top. Though, because he's actually played quarterback before. Joe Burrow does not want to move. Okay. Um, Joe Herbo and Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert are, like, at the same spot. So, yeah. Lamar Jackson. I'm going to have to put him at insane. Um, I do have two other quarterbacks in mind who I'll put at insane. But for right now, I want to give Lamar Jackson. He did his... He's a great player, don't get me wrong. And he can get you a lot of touchdowns, as we saw this season. But that's only one season. And do I think he'll be as good as that? No. And he's not necessarily... He doesn't get too many receiving... Or not receiving, sorry. Throw, passing yards. But he can get you touchdowns. And he had a great touchdown to interception ratio of 36-6. to six. And then he broke Michael Vick's record in rushing. 
But he's going to need to rush way less if he wants to be more successful. Because rushing court, I'm just scared that he'll get injured. That's my one concern right now. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, we'll give him a, I guess I'll give him a starter and like, I'll put him, not sure where to put him. Um, I guess because of longevity, I'll just put him right there. Um, oh hey, he's next to his old pal Tom Brady. Jimmy Garoppolo, well, I'm not sure, maybe I'll put him behind Tom Brady, because, like, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's done his season where he got injured, that wasn't the greatest, and his win-to-loss ratio is amazing, um, but Jimmy Garoppolo, he just, he panics late game when he has the lead, and then he throws dumb, and then he throws dumb passes, which lead to interceptions, as we saw in the Chiefs versus Niners Super Bowl game, and it's a problem that he has. So if he can stop panicking, then I think that he definitely will will become a way better QB. Next we have Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. Mm, I'll put him right here. Actually, I'll put him above Andy Dalton. My only problem with Daniel Jones is how inconsistent he is. He's like Jared Goff in that sense. Once he has an amazing game, and then the other time, he can't do nothing. So, if he can, if he, um, he can keep it, I mean, it's not great to have inconsistency, inconsistency, but in his inconsistency, on the time that he does nothing, if he can raise that a bit to, like, a level where he still maybe gets, like, say, Two passing touchdowns and maybe 250 or 60 yards. I think that'll be good, but right now I'll keep him an average because of that. Kyler Murray. I'm going to put him in the best of the good. Um, okay, so the reason I'm doing this, I think. I don't think that he deserved to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. I think that it deserved to beat Josh Jacobs, but that's not the point. The point is that Kyler Murray, um, his receivers weren't great, don't get me wrong. But now he has DeAndre Hopkins, and I want to see what he can do with DeAndre Hopkins. Because, look, the Cardinals got themselves a team. They have a sack machine near in Chandler Jones. And then, on the offensive side, um... They've got themselves Kyler Murray and D-Hop. So, they've got themselves a pretty good team. So, I want to see what Kyler Murray can do with his team right now on the offensive side. Next is Drew Locke. Drew Locke, I'll put you in the middle of Joe Flacco. Actually, I'll put you in the middle of Andy Talton and um Joe Flacco. Okay, so look, Drew Locke's next to his pal, Joe Flacco. Drew Locke, he's got a lot of potential, a load of potential, right? But, Drew, he didn't do too great last season. So that's why I'm giving, that's why I'm putting him in the average side of this tier ranking. Because Drew Locke, he's got Corden Sun, who's a great receiver. And for what it takes, Corinth Sun, he, he's a pro bowler, and Drew Locke. Drew Locke, sorry, I'm just rambling on. Let me say words. Drew Locke, as I already said, he has a load of potential. So if he can put that all to use, unlike the whole team of Cowboys, which their talent goes to waste, then I think that he will be able to get up two tiers to, like, maybe starter, to be starter. Next, we have Patrick Mahomes. I think everyone knows where he's going. He's going in insane. He's, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the league. That guy can gun a ball, and he can make it accurate. He can rush. He can he can pass amazingly. Probably the biggest arm in the league right now, arguably. Maybe Aaron Rodgers. But I'll, Patrick Mahomes is insane. Marcus Mariota. 
Marcus Mariota is going in average beyond you. Um, Marcus Mariota, man. Sorry for putting so many people in average. But Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota has... He... I do not think that he deserved to be the second overall pick. And I think that many people would say that as well. Because, like, he didn't do nothing on the Titans. And then they had to bring in... Ryan Tannehill, Hill, who he did great. And let's see. I don't think that he will be starting on the Raiders. But hey, maybe if Derek Carr does terrible, then Marcus Mariota can get some playing time. And see. let's see what he does. But for right now, for what it gives, I'll give him an average. Baker Mayfield. He has an interception problem. I'll put him... I'll put him here. I'm good. So, he did get the most passing touchdowns ever by a rookie. He was 27, passing Payne Manning and Russell Wilson. But, what was his... He almost got... He was almost like Jameis Winston in terms of interceptions. He didn't get as many interceptions or touchdowns, but, like, he got, what, 22 touchdowns and 21 interceptions or something around that? So, he needs to dim down his interception. Throws by a lot, and... I think that if he could throw a bit more passing touchdowns, because, like, he does have Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham. And they may not have been the greatest receivers ever last season, but if they can do, like, maybe 1.15 times better than they did, then I think that Baker Mayfield will go up to starter, deserves to be a starter. Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew. I know that this didn't surprise a lot of people, I guess. Maybe not. Um, I'm going to put Gardner Minshew in the worst of good. Because, like, Gardner Minshew did have a pretty good season. And I think that he's, ju I think that he's just going to get better from there. And, look, they did trade away Nick Foles. So now he is, like, the top-tier starter. So, let's see what he can do. Um, I actually, I'm very excited to see what he can do. Because I think that he has a load of potential inside him. And I think that he's only going to get better. Cam Newton. Cam Newton, another player with an interception problem. I'm going to put him... We haven't really gone to see much of Cam Newton. But for his last season that he played... I'll put him at the bottom of good. And I know that I may not, I should not be putting him below Gardner Minshew, but Cam Newton, he has an interception problem as well, just like Baker Mayfield. But I think that Cam Newton, he, don't get me wrong, he's a very QB. Mobile, very athletic, very strong. He can pass the ball, right? But... Cam Newton, I don't know, I'm, I just need to see him, I just, I haven't really gone to see him play for a long while, in like, maybe say two or three years, so I really want to see what Cam Newton can do, especially when he has such a good court, uh, such a good coach in Bill Belichick, smartest coach of all time in my opinion, and I'm sorry for saying I, I need to see more of them play, I'm sorry for that, um, Phil Rivers. Okay, I'll put him, currently, I'll put him in the top of good. Nope. Okay, there. So, the reason I'm putting Phil Rivers in the top of good is because he's definitely aging. And I do think that he's getting to the, to the end of his career. But I wouldn't, I, I'd give him a, I'd still say he's, uh, maybe I'll put him in solid, or starter slash deserves to be a starter. Up in front of Jimmy Garoppolo. Because Phil Rivers, he is, he's getting, like I said, he's getting to the later part of his career. And he's on the coast now, so I don't think they really needed him when they already have Jacoby Brissett. But I do think that Phil Rivers, like, he can throw he can throw for a lot of yards. He can throw for a lot of yards. And he can throw many touchdowns. So if 
he definitely had a down year though. Think so did the whole Chargers team. But yeah, that's all I'll say about Phil Rivers for now. We have a couple of QBs left. Um, so next I have Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna put him in solid. Uh, let me get him up there to solid. Uh, let's see, did I move any QBs on accident? No. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers. I still think that Drew Brees is better than Aaron Rodgers. You can disagree on me with that. But Aaron Rodgers can gun a football and he's like Patrick Mahomes. He can gun a football and he does not have an interception problem. And they can both throw for a lot of yards. But I guess Aaron Rodgers, he's just been getting... He hasn't exactly been playing too much over the past couple of years and I guess that hurts his rating a lot. But Aaron Rodgers... I'll keep him in solid for now. I don't think that he's going to go back to insane ever again. He was definitely at insane at one point in his career, just not anymore. Next we have Josh Rosen. <laughs> um, I'll put Josh Rosen in here. Because, like, he, he, I saw this video. Um, it was, like, Josh Rosen is the most unluckiest player in the NFL. And, yes, he is. He he hasn't gotten many chances to prove himself at all. Because, like, Josh Rosen, what was he, the ninth pick in the draft? He didn't do anything on one of the Cardinals, and then he got traded. And now, look, he's on the Dolphins, who they have Tua, who I'll be talking about later, and they have Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, Josh Rosen, I don't know when he'll ever get a chance to prove himself. Uh, next we have Ben Roethlisberger. He was injured for a lot, but on his season before, I'll put him at the top of good. Maybe no, I'll put him. I'll put him behind Kyler because like Ben Roethlisberger, I do think that he does. He's a great player. Don't get me wrong. Uh, he can throw a football. He's Ben Roethlisberger basically. Everyone knows him. He's good. Not well. Maybe he. I I wouldn't necessarily say he's insane. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll put him. See, my only problem is that he was injured, so I can't really put him anywhere else than where I have him right now. So yeah. Jared Goff. I'm gonna put Jared Goff. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, by the way, let me switch. Um, Jacoby Brissett and Gardner Minshew. Um, Jared Goff. I'm gonna put him maybe. I'll put you above Derek Carr. Because my problem with Jared Goff is that he's another player who is very inconsistent. And look, he was the first pick in the draft with Car to go along with Carson Wentz. And he did do great when he got it. When he got his team to the 2019 Super Bowl, right? But then, ever since then, he hasn't done too much. And I guess Sean McVay hasn't really done too much either to go along with Jared Goff. And Jared Goff, like I already said many times before, he is very inconsistent. Not Maybe in his bad games, he's not as bad as Daniel Jones. But still, he's not exactly the greatest player ever. Matt Ryan. I'm going to put Matt Ryan in the, I'll put him, oop, uh, let me put Matt Ryan, up. I'll put Matt Ryan right here. So to keep it a buck with you, Matt Ryan and the Falcons, they got Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley, uh, they got Do Todd Gurley as well. So it sounds like great offense, and Matt Ryan he is a good player. And, yes, he deserves... He is a starter, and he deserves that job. He's worked for it. And Matt Ryan, he's getting out of his prime. And, look, he... He can still do... He can still do a lot of things. Just... He's nowhere near as good as he was. And, yes, duh, you can tell me. That's called aging, obviously. Um, but... Matt Ryan, I'll just keep him where he is right now. Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford, I'm going to put you... Um, let's put Matt Stafford. 
Uh, I'll put my staff for that Thor's just solid. Because I know that from those from that company, it doesn't look like Matt Stafford would deserve to be in there. And no, I, I'm not sure how many people would agree with me. Uh, you can tell me if you disagree in the comments or dislike this vid. Uh, it's your option. Um, but Matt Ryan, or not Matt Ryan, sorry, Matt Stafford, he's always been great. Like, he makes some amazing touchdowns. And he may have a small interception problem, maybe not too small, but still, he can get, he can get yards. He, he gets a lot of passing yards and a lot of passing touchdowns, like 27 to 30, so I think that Matt Stafford would be solid. Ryan Tannehill, um, we're going to put him at the best of good. I'm gonna put Ryan Tannehill at the best of good, cause he was decent on, he was pretty good on the Dolphins. And then, he didn't do too much in the Titans until this season, where he finally got to start over Marcus Mariota. And he did amazing, and he got a huge contract, which I'm not sure if the Titans should have given him that big of a contract, but look, he's there for like another five years now. So, hopefully he can make that contract worth it, cause he's got AJ Brown and Derrick Henry. Mish Trubisky. I know that off of these players from average, Mish Trubisky. Actually, I put Mish Trubisky at the worst of average. Because, uh, maybe I'll put Marcus Mariota in the below average category. I'm sorry, Marcus Mariota, but like, you haven't been great. But I'll put you at like the best of the below average. And then batch Mish Trubisky. Mitch Trubisky, man. The Bears made a great decision getting Nick Foles. Mitch Trubisky, he throws so many interceptions. Probably one of the, if not the worst starters from the season, last season. And I don't think that he deserves to be having a starter spot at all. And I'm sorry for hating on Mitch Trubisky so much. I just don't think that he deserves, he deserves to have gone on what he got. Tua, you're a rookie. Put it in the foot there. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, he's going up in the solid. And look, I know that <laughs> I said this with Matt Stafford, but those three maybe not, maybe don't fit with Deshaun Watson. But in my opinion, Deshaun Watson, if he, if Lamar Jackson wasn't in the league, then Deshaun Watson would be one of the top rushing QBs in the league right now, maybe even the top. And Deshaun Watson, he can throw a football, get many yards, and rush. Versatile guy. I think that he definitely, well, there's not. He, he's, I don't think that he'll get any worse in his current stage because he's basically in his prime at this point. And he did lose DeAndre Hopkins, which is a bit of a hit, but that's his Bill O'Brien's fault. On. Um, and he did get Brandon Cooks and he still does have Will Fuller, so let's see what he can do with those weapons. Our final four. Carson Wentz, I'm gonna put you in, well, I'm gonna put you in the good. I'll put you, I'll put you here. So look. Carson Wentz, above his fellow Jared Goff, we're in the same draft, number one and two. And Carson Wentz, I think, um, I don't think, uh, sorry, um, let me say this again. Carson Wentz, he gets injured so much. So if Carson Wentz can stay healthy, I think that he will definitely, I think that he'll easily be in the starter, or deserves to be a starter. But look, they got Jalen Hurts, and I guess they got Jalen Hurts for a reason, because Carson Wentz. It's injured so many times. And look, I'm going to keep him in good. I know it may be too high, but Carson Wentz, I'm sorry, man. But, like, you got to slow down your injuries. Uh, finally, or not finally, sorry. We have Russell Wilson. No, I'm not putting him in. I'm putting him in insane. And in my opinion, he's the second best QB in the league. I'm saying this because Russell Wilson, he... Oh, well, maybe I take back what I said about Deshaun Watson. Maybe Russell Wilson would be the second best rusher in the league. 
Mike, Russell Wilson's easily the best scrambler in the league. Um, he doesn't get any, he barely gets any interceptions. He's never had a bad season. He can throw for a load of touchdowns and a load of yards. He, in my opinion, deserves to get MVP. And look, I was watching another video, um, and they, I'll put the two links of the videos in the description about what I'm about to say right now and about Josh Rosen. So this guy, his name's Anki Sports, he suggested that there should be a best player of the year and an MVP. And I completely agree with him because Russell Wilson, he, in my opinion, he deserves to get the MVP, but Lamar was probably the best player of the year. So, yeah. Oh, we have Nick Foles and Jameis Winston. Nick Foles. I know it's kind of unpopular. I'm going to put him at the bottom of good. Um, actually. Yeah, I'll just. Mm, I'll put him at the bottom of good. Because Nick Foles, he, had in, he got injured. Um. Yes, he did amazing in that run of the playoffs when he got to reach the playoffs. Then he got to play against Tom Brady and won. That was like one of the greatest stretches of the playoff history probably. Well, maybe not a playoff history, but he did amazing, especially for QB. And Nick Foles, he hasn't really gotten too much. He hasn't really gotten too much after that. But look, he, got in, he was injured for the whole season. Maybe, I'm not going to put him in good. I might put him at, like, maybe the highest of average. And, look, Nick Foles may not be average, but, like, he was injured for the whole season. I know you can say the, the same about Big Ben, but Big Ben, he did prove himself before he got injured. Nick Foles, he didn't prove himself too much. Like, he proved himself a bit, but not too much. So if he can do some magic on the Bears, then I think that he will definitely be way higher. Finally, we have Jameis Winston. Who I'm gonna put? Uh, I'll put on a second half. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where to put James Winston. He's one of the harder people to put. Um, and look, James Winston, he got five thousand yards, but he's like Brett Favre in terms of gunslingers. He just slings it and it's like. He basically just prays for someone to catch it. That's part of the reason why he got 30 interceptions. And he did get 30 touchdowns, but I'm kind of disregarding the fact I know that. Because, like, 30 interceptions, I guess, in my opinion, speaks out way more than 30 touchdowns. And, yeah, that's our video. So, this is my ratings. Here is insane through average. And here is below average in trash. So I haven't got many chances to prove them themselves or is a rookie. And yeah, that is it for the video. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.